we look upon this people roast fish oven style from Manda's kitchen hi guys welcome back to Manda's kitchen I know it's been a while but I'm still here today I'm going to do some roast fish oven roast fish all right so remember to like share comment and subscribe leave a comment and make me know what you think make me know how to do for the roast fish all right so today i don't really know fishing about the, them two ya a snapper all right and then this i think i want fish named grunt all right so i'm going to season them here with my fish season my all purpose, my complete season, a little paprika for color, a little salt, black pepper, and garlic powder. So after I season my fish, I'm going to put it down for marinate little while I pre cook the. I'm um, going to stuff it with kalaloo. Right? Kalaloo and you know, okra and pumpkin. Any little thing I can find, alright? So stay tuned for that one here. Love you guys. Alright, so today I want to show a little appreciation to the persons who are always there watching, leaving a comment, liking the video, not just watching but liking the video. I appreciate you know on yourself, big up on yourself. So I'm going to mix up my season together. So you know, you want to have a combination, you know, add little of this, little of that, one one pan the fish. So you mix up everything together, you know, you have to make your work easier. So that's the season. So I'm going to take up my fish one one now. And I'm going to season them. So when I'm done, I'm showing all the fish look. I remember, me am video myself. So I have the phone in my hand. I can do it and season the fish. Alright? We'll get there one day. No worry on myself. So I'm going to try to show now. Alright? So... I'm going to ensure that the season get done in the head. You don't need a lot of powder season. You know, remember we have to stuff this with a lot of season. Color low and all of them things there. So, I rub up outside. You know, dress up a fish. I want to have a little. I look one day. I have a little. And then this. I have a husband. And then this. Uh, for me yeah guys all right guys so i'm gonna fish them beard them dress up them beard and dress up so i'm gonna move to the stuffing ingredients all right so stay tuned for that remember to like the video and leave a comment all right guys so before I cut up the okra and the kalalo and them things there, me I go put on the sides them. So me I go do some mashed potato and some corn. So yes, guys, them potato are dirty bad cause I no supermarket potato them. I don't in the red dirt in a country potato them. So me go wash off them here. Me go peel them, make them go and boil, and then me deal with the kalalo. The kalalo when I have it cut up already. Remember one time Gam used to say me buy a cut up kalalo, but in other times I have to try and make your life easier. I always buy from this man and him kalalo them always soft and cut up nice. So I continue to buy it. So my kalalo already cut up already. I'm just going to wash it with my salt. And you know, you know, something you have to sift through and see if nothing in the way you want to pick out and so. So I'm going to peel them and now put them for boil with my can. These are my coins. Alright. I'm going to try to catch up the phone. I use a peeler, but I never use a knife. I peel off the skin, I throw off the dirty water, peel off the skin, 
and then I wash them off again and then cut them up to my size. I already put on my water already. Alright guys, so I just realized see them can here a sweet corn, right? See them? They're not so tough like the regular tough corn, but they're not so soft like the sweet corn where you know you're buying a supermarket. So what I'm going to do now, like when my water is boiled up, I'm going to put it in my can, make it go and boil, till I finish peeling my potato to them. So they may have a boil for about 20 minutes or so. So I put them in and make them go and boil. Make it boil for about 10 minutes and I put them in my potato. Because you know when the potato them cut small, they boil faster. So I put it in them and now. Alright guys, so potato finish peel. Now you have some little things after you wash it, you will see. So you know you cut that off. So I'm gonna cut this up now. Make my can go and boil. And then I put in the potato after. Because the can tougher than the potato. I'm gonna cut up them and um, try to touch up. I peel the potato. Okay? Cut up the potato now. Yes, guys, we're not even know how long they can they really take for food because we don't normally buy them one day. Normally buy the one at the supermarket for five minutes and they cook. But that the man buy care comes so I feel so work with it. I'm gonna make them boil both for ten minutes and check it. See how soft it be before I put in the Irish. Smell it. I smell the can. So alright. Put it down, put up. Now go. Feel the can. It's about for five minutes now. So I'm going to put it here. They may have the size. I'm going to mash them. This is really tougher than the, the one in the supermarket. But not so tough. So I make them go and boil. And then when I think it's half enough, I put in the Irish, like, you know, halfway through the cooking. I put the Irish in the pot. You know, I'm going to do too, I'm going to put a little piece of butter in the pot. So just for you, the can a little flavor, I put a little piece of chiffon there. You know, you have to use chiffon because the cooking butter doesn't really have much taste. So I'm going to put a little piece of the corn flavor, right? I'm going to crush the potato with butter so that I already have a flavor. So guys, stay tuned for this recipe. I'll be back. Alright guys, so as you can see, it, it's soft fish. So I'm going to add the Irish man. Guys, Irish cook. Guys, so these are the seasonings that I have been using and the color low. You know, I'm going to use some of this in the color low, but I'm going to leave some for garnish. Because you know you have to dress up your fish nicely. So, I have me um, gar garlic. I have pumpkin. I have sweet pepper. Red, yellow, green. I have a little 
pimento, I'm going to crush out. I have carrot. Very light in looks. So. I have my um, thyme scallion. And you don't know so the okra of it in it. So, yeah. So these are my seasoning. So I'm going to wash off. It's a bag of color low. I'm not going to use all of this. Because you know I just three fish. So I'm going to take out what I want. Wash it my salt water. Put it in the pot. I'm going to put some of the seasoning right here. So in it. For steam down. To stuff the fish. But I'm going to leave some for garnish my fish. So stay tuned. Okay, so color low wash. I'm going to you know, search through it and thing, you saw them cut small. The man do them thing good. So, I'm going to add skill and time, of course. But I'm going to cut them up small. Because I don't really like seasoning, no, I don't like eat it. I like you season, but I don't like eat it. So, I'm going to put pimento. I'm going to put a little carrot. And I'm going to put little sweet pepper, little yellow pepper, little red pepper. And now I'm going to put none of the, the um, boy come out, I can't even remember the name of the things then. But now I'm going to put no pumpkin. I'm going to use the pumpkin for garnish my, seat, my, my fish. And I'm going to put the okra. I'm going to leave some for garnish. But I'm going to put most of them in the color room for them cook. Alright. Forgot the garlic, so I put a little of the garlic in the color low. Guys, so you know, see, the color low, the, no one, no, nothing more than the little butter. Because the fish well seasoned already and we don't want it salt. So I just put butter for steam the color low. Alright. So I'm going to put on this and just make it partially steam and then we'll stuff the fish. So I'm going to turn this down low because I don't want it burn. Because remember, I don't have no oil in there, I just the butter, you know. So turn it down low and I'm going to make this steam down, you know. Okay, so you don't want it softer than this, so turn off the stove. We have a stuff for fish now. So the first thing we are going to do now, we are going to rub some butter on the base of the foil. Because you don't want your fish as thick and as tear up when you take off the fish. You know? Yeah, so you rub the butter. Rub the butter. Alright. Place the fish on the foil. I may go. I see me can catch the phone to show no me and stuff my fish. You okay, wanna make sure say your stuff up in the head. Them. All right, so I'm done. Get back to you now. Guys, so this is my fish. I want me a show now. So, this is how I go stuff them, decorate them, wrap them up, put them in the oven. You know, fish not take long for cook, so about 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. Yeah. So, this is my fish. You know, you have to put the time. Mm hmm. Stay tuned for the finish. Look. Talk it through, people. This is a fish and I look like it cook already. 
Nah, man. Look at that. This can't eat so. Uh, oh, my appetite. Yeah, push him in my corner. And I'll wrap him. I'll wrap him. Make sure I see him wrap up in it. I have to put one more here a file. Guys, some of fish them don't wrap. So I will put them in the oven. Pan the grill same way. I'm not put it on a container or nothing. Because I put it on the grill and make them do anything. So I'll get back when it's finished. Oh guys, my oven did already preheat because I have some um bake drumstick a bake. So it did already preheat already. Basically hot. So as I say. 25 to 30 minutes the most because you know fish not take long for cook but you have to make sure say the heat penetrate through the file paper and steam the fish all right Moment you all been waiting for. <gasps> Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Multi good. Got well tie up in me. I'll tear stick on. It's a well cooked down raw. Look at that. You don't want to smell this. I'm going to plate this up now and come back. I'm going to turn it the right way. Look at these people. Rose fish oven style from Manda's Kitchen. Okay, guys, so this is the final product Manda's Rose, Rose fish oven style. Yeah. A little sweet corn and mashed potato. Mm -hmm. So please to comment if you like this video, share, subscribe if you haven't as yet, and stay tuned for my next video. I know I'm not too consistent, but our own self will not soon get video like every day. <laughs> Woo! Bye guys!